In 2025, it's no secret that people increasingly learn with the help of technology. And particularly generative AI is really transforming the way people acquire new knowledge, explore new topics and build skills. And while there's many techniques, prompts and apps that relate to learning within the generative AI space, the one that I find myself returning to time and again is this concept of building a knowledge base. And I say concept because it's really more an idea than anything else. Some people refer to this as building their second brains. Some people simply add bookmarks to a folder in their browser or videos to a playlist on YouTube. All of this is kind of the same idea, gathering a bunch of information that might be scattered across the internet and centralizing it into one place. And in today's video, we'll be exploring a practical workflow, how to do this yourself at maximum efficiency, because beyond just creating a folder of bookmarks or a playlist on YouTube, I know that many of you, including myself, have done this workflow in ChatGPT too, where you open up a new chat, you start with a little bit of context and then you simply go to the YouTube video description, open the transcript over here, you toggle the timestamps away and then you proceed to copy paste this entire thing into ChatGPT, which will initially summarize it, but then you can continue the conversation. Now, if you've ever done this, you'll quickly realize that this interface is just not built for that. I mean, look at how long I just need to scroll to get the top of the conversation. Plus what happens if I wanna add another five videos into here? It starts getting messy very quickly. And if you've used AI before, you might know that tools like ChatGPT are really, really good at generating a lot of information, brainstorming ideas, but their weakness is in organizing all that information, especially for somebody like me who opens five to 10 chats per day on average. Platforms like ChatGPT are not designed to organize knowledge and they're especially not designed to make sense of it all. You really need to think about what you're doing and do custom prompting to even have a chance of making sense of things. And if you're looking to learn something, I think I found the app that really makes sense here. And full disclosure, they are the sponsor of today's video, but as you might know, we get a ton of outreach from various companies. And for a workflow video like this, I would only pick the ones where I genuinely feel like they add value. And with Recall, they really take this idea of building this knowledge base or second brain to the next level with the currently available technology. Essentially, you can kind of go about your usual workflow when you're exploring a new topic, looking at YouTube videos, articles, podcasts, and all that. And then with this little Chrome extension, you have these auto-generated summaries of everything and you can add this to your knowledge base. And I really want to show you this workflow because I know different people learn in different ways, but for me personally, the way I learn is with the internet. And a big part of that for me always is is YouTube, whether I'm looking to buy a new tech gadget or I'm looking to acquire a new skill. And this is so excellent for that. So let me pick a focus topic here and show you what a workflow like this would look like. And then if you want, you can try this for free, no credit card or anything like that required. The free tier is limited. You won't be able to add hundreds of different videos, of course. Okay, so the topic we'll be working today is just something that I've been recently super interested in. And hopefully you can relate some way. It's the topic of public speaking. So I personally really love both learning and teaching. And as you see, YouTube is my format of choice, but in Increasingly, I realized, hey, if I can do the same thing that I do on YouTube in the real world, it feels even more rewarding because you get live feedback, you see the results immediately. It's face to face, not just me sitting here with a camera as I'm right now. So I wanna learn more about public speaking. What would I usually do? Well, one of my first destinations is just a quick YouTube search, and then immediately you'll find valuable stuff on any topic. This is how I usually start my learning journey. So let's open up a few videos here. I haven't seen these, so I can't really judge, but let's just open up this TED video, the trick of powerful public speaking. All right, that sounds great. Then there's a George and Peter's one. And then let's add more something that's a bit longer form. I think this one is sort of perfect. Vin is a powerful speaker and coach, but I don't have two enough hours to watch all of this right now. So that's a fantastic example. And setting up this app couldn't be any simpler. You literally just go to the first link in the description, you download the Chrome extension, and then this is one of those that you definitely want to have pinned in your browser as the entire workflow relies on augmenting your browser experience. There's manual ways to do it too in the cart, but really the smoothest way is with this extension, as you'll see in a second here. So what I'm going to do here is very simple. I'm not going to spend two of hours watching this, I'm just going to click this extension. And at this point, I'm not even going to interact with anything in here. I'm just going to say save as I trust that this is something that might be relevant to me learning about public speaking. And if you wanted, you could actually add dozens, even hundreds of videos at the same time. I'll show you exactly how to do that later on in this video. And then I'm going to repeat the process for these other videos too. So open this up, save, open this one up, save, and I'm gonna do that two more times. And in just a few seconds, we just pulled all of the knowledge in these videos into our knowledge base inside of Recall. And you know what? Maybe let's do one more podcast episode over here. And in this one, I'm just gonna ask a basic question that might come to mind when interacting with this content. What would be the first step? I'm not even sure if the content answers this question, but hey, it pulls it up and it shows that at 16 minutes and 03, you should be treating your voice as a skill. And rather than even reading this, I'll just have a listen. Well, treating your voice as a skill 
is the first thing. So becoming conscious that this is a skill. There you go. It actually found the perfect first part. So I mean, not just learning about public speaking, I'm learning about the skill of using your voice. And then with this click, I can add this to my notebook slash knowledge base slash second brain, whatever you want to call this. So to continue, let me just run a quick Google search because this obviously makes sense too. And I just found a Harvard article on 10 tips to improve your public speaking here. Again, just going to open recall, save this. Okay, so I showed you how to use the extension to add the content. You can also do it here within the interface by adding a card which by the way, also takes PDF files or imports the entire bookmarks folder from your browser. If you already have a bunch of pages that you just quickly want to add here, but you might wonder what to do if you're on your phone because you might be learning from everywhere. Well, that's where the mobile app comes in, where once you logged in, it allows you to add any piece of content from the internet to recall by simply sharing the content to the application. So you can be building your knowledge base from anywhere. Okay, so once you have your knowledge base full of relevant things, you can also enable this augmented browser feature, which then enhances other content you will be consuming and references it back to things inside of your knowledge base in recall. By the way, this works fully locally, so no data leaves your computer. And what it does is essentially it infuses the knowledge that you have within recall into content that you're consuming at this very point in time. And look, even with me talking over this, this took no time at all. And it's because I haven't really consumed anything yet. I just clicked a few buttons. But then if I move on over to the recall application here, you will see that it takes all of the content and all of the transcripts in here. I believe this is about six hours of video and an article, and it automatically creates different categories for you that this would fall into. So as you can see, I did nothing of this. It just figured out that, okay, we're really talking about communication, but then it also talks about self-improvement in relation to communication. Now I could even customize all of this categorization and that's nice, but let me really show you the feature that makes this so efficient. If I go over to connections, you will see links to everything that is mentioned inside of this episode. So without listening to this two hour long episode, I will see this categorized by every person that was referenced in this podcast. Every corporation that is mentioned, every country, every movie. Heck, I can even see that they talked about the Dark Knight at some point, which might not be relevant at this point in time, but because it creates this for every single piece of content, as you can see over here, some of these will start overlapping as you add more and more to this knowledge base. And to see those overlaps between the different connections, you can just go over to this graph view here. This would be the one for the single content, or you go over to this graph tab on the side and you will see a graph view for everything you added to the knowledge base. So for example, if I just go to the communication category here on the left, I can see that there's actually one topic that was mentioned in two pieces of content that I added to my knowledge base. So instead of exploring every single thing that is out here, I could just look at the one that both of them referenced, which is Brene Brown. Just Click on that, I have the Wikipedia article, heck, even her social pages. So if I add public speaking to this, you'll see a few more. Okay, there's Steven, the podcaster who hosts a lot of these communication experts, but there's also Ken Robinson. So looking at these connecting notes is incredibly powerful because it gives you an overview of something that, heck, even if I watched all six hours of this content, I would gain a lot of info, a lot of insight, but this way I can quickly identify some of the highest authority topics that I could then proceed on. So I just think looking at these connecting notes here can be incredibly powerful. And, and chances are that this type of workflow is exactly what most people are not using to expand their knowledge. Now that's very nice, but it goes further because learning is not just about consuming the information. It's also about interacting with it. And that's what these different tabs here really help you with. So as you can see, the first one is just a concise summary. And while this might look a little long, hey, we're talking about a two and a half hour long podcast, okay? So just looking over these headlines and then picking the stuff that matters to you. And then it can start diving deeper into the concrete content or just click the timestamp to just go listen to that part of the video. And then beyond that, as you might expect, there's a chat feature so I could ask for specific things. Here's a learning prompt that I personally really like with LLMs. What are the top five lessons here? Now, I don't give any criteria. And even if I just follow up with these, it will start giving you customized recommendations for your personal needs. And then I could just take this snippet, add this to my notebook. And then now besides the concise summary here in the beginning, I also have this AI generated snippet at the bottom. And this way you can really pick the parts that are most relevant to you. Now, there's one more thing here, which you could also prompt for, but it just makes so much sense to be built into this entire workflow. And that's over time, as you build your knowledge base, you might want to return to some points, but I at least know for myself, I don't really feel like rewatching a two and a half hour long podcast. So what I can do here is I can just open the quiz, start the review, and then I could test if I remember what I saved in my notebook here as time has passed. And that's really it, a simple, powerful to learn and manipulate knowledge from all across the internet. You can give it a shot for free from the first link in the description. And if you feel like this works for you, you can use the code AI Advantage 25 to get 25% off the subscription plans. That's really everything I have for today. My name is Igor and I sincerely hope that you'll just keep learning, keep growing, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.